do squat and walk. Squat and walk. I was thinking, I was on crawling on all fours and not even in a good way. We're driving through all this wadi, which is this also this valley, but when it starts raining, everything that we're driving through right now floods. So this whole road, even though it exists, is actually submerged in water during the rain. Don't forget your sunscreen. <laughs> so a wadi, what is exactly a wadi if you haven't seen the other Oman box? And if you have seen it, still can explain it to you. <laughs> it's a, a riverbed. Yeah. Mostly dry, most of the year. But yeah, every now and then it floods by the rain. And, uh, people can use that as irrigation for their um, plantations. <laughs> And that's why everything here is so lush and green. There's also signs everywhere that if you see any, any sign of rain clouds forming or any signs that it's going to rain, to get out of this valley ASAP because it will flood. So luckily, it's quite sunny and beautifully hot and clear day today. It is a beautiful walk in this valley. But apparently, we've heard that at the end of this, there's some pools that are naturally made. So we got on our swim shorts, the Versace. And I hope I'm not scandalizing the whole village with my bare legs. I am literally the most revealing person here. Just us. I kind of theorize. So it turns out these shorts are more made for the Mediterranean Sea Italian Versace than, you know, Muslim Oman Arabian sands. But um, there's this little trek that goes one kilometer into what's called the Mughal Caves. So hopefully there'll be a little bit more privacy there that I wouldn't feel so subconscious right now. Could I do that? It's an app product placement, yes, yes. Are you the influencer now? Yeah, much longer, see? Wow, it is very much longer. This is what I mean. I mean, I love this lane, and this is my normal lane for any other part of the world, but it's something to be very considered about, and maybe this is like a traveler mistake on my part for this part of the world. Mm -hmm. Oh. Too short. <laughs> This whole canyon that we're traversing through right now is really spectacular. The landscape in Oman keeps changing wherever we go, which is just shows how diverse the country is. Ooh, down here, look at those waters. Such a contrast amongst the white rocks. Look, our hitchhikers, people who we hitchhike with. No. And it's been teen deer. This is the cave. Look how small it is. And there's water in there too. If you're claustrophobic, this is neat, good idea, as the Dutch would say. Like sliding slowly down. Water down here as well. Oh. Just squat and walk. Squat and walk.
Let's go deep, yeah. How big this spider is, oh my god. I don't know if you can I've never been so claustrophobic in my life than right now. I was like, hey, I was on crawling on all fours and not even in a good way. Honestly, all I could think of was like how the walls. Like, you know how tight the walls were? It just gonna collapse on me, and like all the rocks are gonna tumble down. I see so many movies like this, you know, and, and then all those miners who get trapped and have to drink their own urine for days before they can get safe. I don't even have travel insurance right now, so I'm just glad we're out here. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, no worries. All right, now time for. Uh, Swim in these luscious waters after that cave. It's so amazing that this is just an outdoor, natural, born pool that yeah, all these rocks cool. created this. My shorts are slipping away! <laughs> Gotta pull them up! <laughs> Once you get out of the water, you just want to stay in the water. Like now. In Cambodia and Thailand, there's these little fishes that nibbles at your feet, like giving you kind of a massage. But here, you don't have to pay for it. It's all free. And it's in this pool. I think Yurun is trying to attract some right now. Any success? They have to go deeper. Oh, oh, oh. They're coming. The more and more of them are coming to me. Mine's already tickling me. <laughs> yeah, some of them are really cute. Oh my god, look at that big one on feet. Look at that. Oh, it's your left feet together. Yeah. It's on Asia. I know something about my feet. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> this whole area of the Wadi Bani Khalid is also, just FYI, free. So if you happen to have a car, just drive down here and you can do this as an easy day trip. Oh. Did they get, is that tickling you? Oh, I was about to get a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so you can drive here as a day trip from Muscat but you can also just do a road trip like we did through all of Oman and then end up here on our way to the coast because this is a fantastic way to spend the day. Look a waterfall! We're going to go to it.
now we've arrived to Sur, which is considered one of the most Omani ancient cities. Sur was introduced as the meeting point across the Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea, and the Omani Sea, playing a vital role in forming a commercial business bridge between the Arabian Peninsula, India, Southeast Asia, and the African continent. We're at this little food stop that our Airbnb host Mubarak has took us to to welcome us to Sir in Oman with some chai tea and traditional Omani sweet bites. This is Sir's lighthouse. It's still a working lighthouse and it overlooks actually the main town from right across the harbor. You can hop down from the lighthouse up top and then walk along its rim because then we get to be closer to the sea. Lighthouse is right behind us right there. But this view of the sea, this is what I mean. That you can see the rest of the town just right across the harbor. What beautiful blue waters and just so peaceful out here. Just looking out into the city, the little town of Sur, in the distance with the glistening lights over the harbor. You can see how quickly the cloud has blown away. Yeah, it's really windy. You can hear the sounds of the waves lapping onto the shoreline too. traditional Omani restaurant and we're going to sit down with our host for dinner. He's ordering all the good stuff for us. And then what is um, what is this sauce? This uh, you can do here for like salon. Uh, I don't know in English, ah, but it's okay. like robots. Okay. Because a little bit spicy, not really spicy. Yes, it's our first time having little shark, shark in yes. general, and it's a traditional Omani. <laughs> First bite of shark, here we go. It's nice, it's really tough. What people may not know is that there's actually sharks in the Gulf of Oman and because Sur is right on the water, of course seafood is a huge, huge part of eating here and so that's what we got as part of our meal. Coffee to finish our meal. Go, 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 so this is mutabal, which is made of tahini with aubergine and it's kind of like in a mixed paste hummus like as if it is a turn to hummus but we also have this wonderful Omani bread here how fluffy it is to dip in and then 
we also got some of Yeroon's favorite yogurt, which is a type of yogurt salad. And of course, we're sitting seaside in Sir. Once the seat of Oman's colossal maritime power, the Omani Empire extended all the way to Mozambique, Zanzibar, even to Iran and Pakistan in the 19th century. Sur is rumored to be the spiritual home of Sinbad the Sailor. And what better way to explore the maritime history of Oman than being at a Dao factory. So this Dao factory is where they make these huge Dao, the traditional boats, and they're actually making it today right now. You can see the men's carving away at these huge wooden boats. Pretty cool industrial site that we're just allowed to roam around and explore to see what they're up to. You can hear the construction going on in the back. But how big the ship is. It's even a show here where you can see different displays of the boats. So if you want to order a Dow, you know where to go. What? There's a turtle suit. Unlike their more man down neighbors, the Omanis are traditionally a seafaring people of fishermen, traders, and shipbuilders as we've seen today. The coast and the sea is inherent to the Omani identity, and driving down the coast is so clear for us to see how Oman has some 3,000 kilometers of coastline, most of which are pristine, stunning, and secluded beaches that face the Indian Ocean with soaring sand dunes or rugged rocks, flourishing coral reefs, and unique wildlife. Camels included. Look at this. Oh man, oh man. A whole sinkhole right here. It's called Bimosin sinkhole. And people actually can swim in there too. Wonderful road trip from uh, everything around the country, and I think a really great piece of Amani hospitality too with our new local friends that we've made along the way, and for like a chai adventures to our accommodations. So if you enjoyed this vlog, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, because there will be more adventures coming to you.